Hey, what's up, VC? Joy Kim here again uh, with one more video for you guys. Um, today I'm gonna do a video which is part one, I don't know, of how many um, uh, focus on 70s punk records that uh, came out during the 1970s. I think I'm going to exclude um, anything prior to uh, 77. So Proto Punk will not be include, included here, not even any garage. So just, you know, pretty much from 77 on. Um, these 15 picks, the big majority of them were just like based on, uh, you know, my Spotify playlist today as I was listening. I've been like truly enjoying doing this. I feel like a kid on a candy store. I find myself at work thinking on the, you know, trying to wrap my mind around about the records I have, videos I, will, I want to do. Uh, but I promise there will not be like a video overload. You know, I'll give you guys a break pretty soon, okay? So anyways, uh, first and foremost, I want to express um, my appreciation for all of you that have been watching my videos, and in particular, the ones that are taking their time to uh, chip in and uh, give me feedback. I truly appreciate feedback. And uh, as a result of that, I want to give a shout out to three channels in, in particular. Not also these three channels are great. Uh, we're talking knowledge, people showing rad, rad stuff. Uh, but even though I don't know them personally, they strike me as, you know, good people, you know. I will, so the channels are TB Vinyl Channel, Seth Asbestos and Beep Bop Boom. I will leave uh, the link uh, for their channels in the description. Check them out, it's great. You, you will learn a lot from these guys. Anyways, so let's jump into this. There's no particular order here. It's not like my prefer, uh, my favorite records. Some are, but you know, those are just 15 pure punk rock classics in my opinion. Anyways, first one up. Australian classic, The Saints, I'm Stranded. Uh, a lot could be said about this record, but, but you know, this is a record that is pretty well known. It's just an absolute classic. Uh, this is the first pressing. I have a cheat sheet uh, with a date, so I will not provide um, wrong information, which is something that I've been doing con uh, consistently because, you know. I believe my memory is not what it used to be. Let's put it that way. So, 1977 on Sire Records. A phenomenal record. Just like punk, rock and roll. He has this hard hedge to it. Every time I listen to this, it just makes you makes me want to start the revolution. That's how good it is. Love this record, Saints, I'm Stranded. Next one up. Uh, probably the least punkier of the batch, even though it's at well, so it's Eddie and Rod, Hot Rods, Life on the Line, uh, well known uh, pub rock band that aligned pretty well uh, with the uh, punk crowds uh, back, back in the day. I could have shown Teenage Depression. I went with this one uh, today. Yeah, today that's what I felt like it. This is the original pressing from uh, 77 as well. Uh, this is on, um, damn it, I don't recall. This is the gatefold. This is on Island Records. It's a great record. It starts off with a um, classic do, on it, do anything you want to do. Uh, but there's so many greats in here. So, quit this town, telephone girl, you know, ignore them, still life. Yeah, great record. Lucky enough to, uh, to see them live before uh, Barry passed away, rest in peace. Uh, yeah, fantastic live act as well. Next one up, a record that I absolutely, I absolutely love this record. And I feel like this one is not mentioned enough. This is London, Animal Games. This record is great. This is from 1978 on NCA. Uh, if you're not familiar with London, 
uh, it is pure 1977 punk, uh, not Sex Pistols, you know, more in the vein of, you say like, like Damned meet, meets Heady and Hot Rods, but there's some urgency in a vocal delivery. This is great. You know, oh, this is a re this is great from top to bottom. But you know, if you want to get a good understanding of what you're looking for, I don't think this is available on Spotify. Uh, just check YouTube, uh, listen to the song. Everyone's a winner, and there will be a good start to for you to get familiar with uh, London. Great. Next one up, 999. It seems like I've been showing 999 in every single uh, video I've done so far so but you know this is 99 self-title this is the second I believe uh, from 1978 uh, it's great this is on oh god there we go again sorry about this I need to prepare myself better the learning experience continues so this is on stereo records uh, on United Artists Records, my bad. Yeah, so this is the uh, first pressing from 1978. This is great. Comes with this cool inner sleeve. It's pretty rad. Uh, classic tunes here. Uh, Hit Me, which I love that song. Emergency, No Pity, uh, Direct Action Briefing, uh, Nobody Knows, Me and My Desire, uh, Chicane Destination. This is fantastic record. Uh, it is my favorite 99 album for sure. Check it out. Next one up. Uh, another band that I've seen, I believe I've shown before. Uh, I have to show this one. Uh, second, The Boys LP, Alternative Chart Busters. This is from uh, 1978. This is the original press sing on NEMS, records and tapes. Um, it's not as um, fast-paced and pissed off as the, the self-title, but it's great. So songs such as Breakful Nights, uh, Do the Contract, Classified Susie, TCP, Neighborhood Brat, Stop, Stop, Stop. This is just great. Uh, this is the first pressing, and um, I haven't listened to this record in many, many years. I do have, um, I do have a reissue from the 90s of this record. And sometimes, for some reason, I, if I have a reissue, I tend to spin the reissue more often than uh, the first pressings. You know, just, you know, from a, to conserve the records a little bit better. I don't know if that makes any sense. But, you know, that's my take on it. Sometimes, you know, yeah, this record I haven't spun in many, many years. Probably 20 years or so, maybe more. But anyways, today, I decided to um, pick this one to show you guys, and uh, I totally forgot about this. It comes with this fucking red inner sleeve. Yeah, it's great. Classic. Next one up is another well-known record. Uh, classic Scottish punk. Resilos. Can't stand the Resilos. Uh, this is on Sire, I know that for sure, yep. Uh, on, from 1978, you know, some people, even recently, I heard uh, someone uh, stating that, in their opinion, the Revillos, which is the band that Revillos uh, turned into, was the band of their preference. But you know, for me, Revillos over Revillos, any any day. This is absolutely great. You know, yeah. Flying Saucer Attack, no, somebody's gonna get uh, get their head kicked in tonight. Top of the Pops, 2000 AD, it gets me, can't send my baby. This is just uh, side one. It's a fantastic record, original pricing with a cool inner sleeve as well. Yeah. And I saw Razil is not, I don't know, maybe six years ago or something. And even though, um, even though, you know, they're probably on their 50s or close to 60s. Uh, they put up a really good show, entertaining, really entertaining, awesome. So this is 
one of my favorite records of all time. Hands down, one of my favorite records of all time. I know I mentioned on my last video that I constantly say, oh, this is my favorite record of all time, but this one, it is for real. This is Cyanide. Uh, this is Pressure 78. Let me look at the cheat sheet. Yeah, 1978. This is on Pi Records. Pi P-Y-E Records. Um, first pressing. And I believe the only pr uh, pressing. Uh, this is great, man. Uh, this is like, again, very uh, 77 punk with a little, you know, pub rock, rock and roll ish Chuck Berry hooks into it. But the lead singer, Bob DeVry, the guy had this. Um, I'll say in your face attitude, you know, he, he, he sings uh, like he really wants to be heard, that he really wants to tell you how, I feel, how he feels and, you know, pass his view on the world. He's fucking awesome, dude. Check this out, man. Tonight, no progress. Night Rider, do it. Uh, hate the state, uh, all over the top. Uh, Mac the Flash, man, this is great. Check this out. I know their second single, second no, second or third single, Your Old Man uh, was recently reissued, which I bought a copy because I don't have the first pressing of that. But yeah, I, I truly encourage you guys to grab that uh, reissue of that single if you have a chance. I picked this one up uh, purely because I saw a reissue of this record uh, not too long ago and I was highly surprised that this was uh, reissued but i'm glad it, it it was it's a novelty record this is um jilted john uh true love stories this is a novelty record it's like the record plays i don't even know how to describe this you know it's new wave-ish with a little you know a punk punky edge like the record uh tells a story right you start listening to the record tells a story this is pretty much just like um I would have, I don't know it's just like a teenager cartoonish uh, description of the struggle of a boy that is not popular trying to get laid that's how I see it so this is the original pressing from um, 1978 and this is on I don't know, it says EMI Records, but it also mentions a Rabbit Records production. Yeah, Jilted John. Uh, yeah, this one doesn't come with the free gift inside, which I always wonder what the free gift was, I don't know. If I were to guess, probably a condom. Great record here. Penetration, second LP. Decide to choose this one because I don't think this record uh, gets uh, enough attention. You know, the first, you know the first album is great you know you know comes with don't don't uh, don't uh, don't dictate which is their most well-known uh song you know and those are you know big shoes to fill in but um this record is fantastic i love this record you know it doesn't deviate much from the first record but but there is some dark tone to it and what i love about it first of all i absolutely adore her voice and this record man evokes emotion you know it's kind of is a record that is full of hopelessness and hope you know it's kind it's an ambivalent record but it's fantastic check this out penetration uh, coming for air this is also the original pressing from uh, uh 1978 i believe this is the portuguese pressing but I don't have my glasses. I'm sorry. Anyways, another classic record, hailing from Ireland. Uh, one of the best uh, Irish band, bands, in my opinion, you know. Uh, paired with Outkast and Rudy and Protex and uh, Pretty, Bo uh, Pretty Boy Floyd and uh, Steve Little Fingers, all that. Uh, some will say this is uh, power pop. Yeah, it's punk. Punk with some power pop touches. It's a fantastic record. Um, 
check it out school days pretty good song any danger love great song run with the pack great song war stories great song this is just good yeah starjets fantastic check check this out this is 78 probably e no 79 on epic records some of this um cbs cbs some of these records come with multiple labels stamped on it it's hard to tell but i do know it's the first press uh, pressing uh so one of my favorite bands of all time uh and i think probably one of you guys favorite bands as well is the ramones i could have shown my probably uh, studio my probably favorite city album by the ramones probably rocket russia uh, but i decided to choose, choose this one for a couple reasons so this is a live record ramones it's a live it's not also the quality of the sound is flawless it's a great great live album they just go through uh almost their full discography until the time that this uh, show was recorded but also i believe this record was the introduction to punk for many many out there so and i do love this record and i've been holding this record you know uh you know dearly to my heart since i was a kid and um yeah and this is um the made in portugal issue from 1979 thanks mom <laughs> next one up the buzzards jellied eels to record deals also known as Leighton buzzards i don't know why they changed the name i guess probably there was a band with the same name i don't know i heard it yeah i don't remember and i to be honest with you uh to do these videos i am not um i wish i had the time but i i'm not taking time to um you know dig into band history so i can provide uh you know more info here you know and i know I, you know you, you can do it yourself you know that's that's what we do that's what i do when i come across something that it's new to me and uh it seems to be interesting to me i'll i'll get informed you know but you know i these days i don't have time to do that and also you know i do not recall things that i used to recall <laughs> you know that's how it is so the buzzers this record is fantastic I think the best way to describe this record is like just imagine early the jam instead of you know pairing with the mod scene they had gone the punk rock route that's what we'll get it's a phenomenal record check this out great okay three more to go uh let's uh Classic and absolutely classic. I know the date on this one by heart. Angelic Upstarts, Teenage Warning. Became well known within the OI scene. This is a straight up punk album. You know, positive message, you know, full of angst. Um, good lyricism here. Man, check this out. Teenage Warning, uh, Little Towers, I'm an ups upstart, uh, Leave Me Alone. The Young Ones, Student Power, fantastic record, fantastic. Check this out. Again, let's see, is this the last one? No, I have two more. There we go. One from, did my recording just stop? Maybe, anyways, we'll see. Uh, undertones, uh, first full length, classic. Uh, first issue doesn't come with teenage kicks but don't be disappointed because this is a from start to end a flawless flawless um punk rock album you know everybody knows this there's not much to say about this absolutely masterpiece and last but not least elton motello a victim of time uh this record you know elton motello i believe his credit jet boy jet girl i believe is the original song by elton motello which has been covered by many um 
and then Pogo Pogo is also here. Uh, I don't like as far as I recall, Elton Motello. He did live in Belgium at the time that Plastic Bertrand, you know, put out the single uh, "C'est Plat Pour Moi," which is pretty much Pogo Pogo. So I'm not sure, you know, if Pogo Pogo is a Elton Motello original or if it is Plastic Bertrand. I don't know who takes credit for it, but nevertheless, this is a great, 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 um, you know, uh, early. Um, this is '79. You know early punk record is really upbeat uh, rock and rollish uh, funny lyrics uh, it's great and also has a great cover of uh, what's it Shantai's yeah uh, pipeline the instrumental pipeline uh, originally by the Shantai's here sounds fucking ra uh, great 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 anyways uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and again uh, send any feedback this way and uh, pretty soon I'll have something out there. The weekend is around the corner So pretty sure I'm gonna do a video during the weekend. Cheers. Take care